fool the humans. Um, we kind of fucked up. <laughs> and as we do. As we do. You know, we're pros. Um, and we forgot to record one of our audio takes for an episode. Um, so... <laughs> We're not redoing the whole episode because that takes a lot of effort. So instead, we're just we're just chatting through this one. <laughs> we're just gonna watch it through and kind of talk about what happens or whatever. Yeah, we're just gonna know. chat. This is like we know what we're doing. Six I weeks guess. after we recorded this, <laughs> that should tell you Has how it long. Been that long already? Uh, yeah, almost. You can see in a minute because Pixel's so tiny. Maybe it's only four weeks. Maybe it's only been a month. But these were recorded, yeah, like, early October. Because in yeah, the last episode, we, like, I had to cut out a bit where I said, these will be uploading in October, and now it's almost December. <laughs> yeah, because we recorded a bunch of them early on. Like, we were, we were doing recording sessions, like, every weekend. Yeah. And, like, sometimes, like, doing, like, two recording sessions a weekend. Yes. Um, just to get through this. You say that like it was awful. It was, I had fun. It was. Well, I mean, just to like get through the game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, some of those I just wanted to play the game. Um, right. Legit, I was like, I want to play Mario. We need to do a recording session because <laughs> I didn't want to record it after playing it. I wanted it to kind of be a fresh take, and I'm just mindlessly looking at my phone here, probably waiting on something probably should have skipped to when the episode actually started that would have been smart yeah probably because none of this is going to make sense with the edit <laughs> there you go i think here's what the fuck am i probably. doing <laughs> i don't know yeah here we go because we go to bianca hills because uh, i wanted to stop doing serena beach because I knew if I got two more shines, I would open up Nokia Bay. And I wanted to open up Nokia Bay. Ah. Uh. Luke is saying something to me. Man, my hair was so long. I mean, it's not much shorter than that now, but still, it's like, Jesus, girl. Too much hair. Yeah. Get in there! There you go. That was the official what? opening. You can see my face actually change. <laughs> I gotta put on my acting face Yeah, I have to put on my hosting face <laughs> Which, like, I believe other YouTubers have talked about this It's it's not that you're lying or putting on a different face It's just I'm now allowing my face to have as many facial expressions <laughs> as it wants I feel like in society, we, we kind of have to tone our face down but when i'm recording a youtube face or what a fa youtube face a youtube video i'm just like let it go face go for it just whatever ridiculousness i probably need to work on that because my face is pretty consistently dead all of the time yeah well you're just kind of stoic in general and honestly that works for some youtubers but it's just, they would never work for me because I have a rubber face anyway. And my feelings are always <laughs> plain as day. I just try to hold them back a little. Does it work? No. <laughs> be a terrible spy. I, <laughs> hey, I would be an excellent spy. People. You wouldn't be able to lie. I can lie. I lie all the time. Not with your face. No, oh, that's true. <laughs> Can't have a tell if it's all written on your face. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I see. I was trying to get up there. Get on the leaves. I loved the trees here as a kid. Uh, I don't know why. I can't tell you why I loved them. I just thought it was cool that I could jump on tree leaves. I wanted to do that in real life. I mean, it is, like, pretty cool, like, 
considering like a lot of games it's just like tree is just like a solid pole that you can't climb yeah <laughs> it's also like again i was 12 when i played this <laughs> that was the first time i'd been in a game where it let you even land on a tree um I just... Oh yeah, I remember this. Is you were trying to figure out how to get up to that cave for the platforming level. Yeah. I still can't believe we did this over a month ago. I know. Time moves too quick. <laughs> It's also, like, I feel like being in quarantine, because uh, f- I haven't fucking left the apartment in forever. Yeah. Um, time is meaningless. Yeah, like, you no longer can really notice time passing, because every single day is exactly the same. Look at my so, sad face it... while I wave. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, here we go again. But yeah, I, I it's like this was so long i've had my hair this color for the longest time now hmm. which is i think is funny it is like or it's like i guess have you seen the like the the posts about like quarantine glow-ups like the people who just like completely change oh yeah well, of course, I feel like I have something similar to that. I wouldn't call it a glow up, but it's just like, all right, I've shaved my head and <laughs> I've like just gotten a shitload of piercings, like re put in. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, okay, like I don't have any expectation to like look professional anymore. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and uh, go back to my punk phase. Right. Oh, there I go. <laughs> oh, I remember I was mad because I hit the jump button, but it didn't jump. So I was pissed mm. off that it just dropped me. Because sometimes it's the controls themselves in Gamer Wonky, and sometimes it's... um. Like the controller I use is a it's a pro controller, but I I think it's an official contro- pro controller. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> so it could be a janky controller problem as well. Oh, that was a close one, me. Uh, but yeah, I I too have returned to my punk roots, and it started with I shaved half my hair off with a mohawk. Um, and funny enough, my hair, even when I part it in the middle and, like, cover up the fact that it's shaved, it looks so much better in a mohawk. <laughs> and me and my mom were talking about this the other day. And we think it's because I have so much thin hair. Like, my hair is very fine. Like, the actual root is, like, tiny. But I just have so much of it. It can't lay down nicely because of the Mm. amount of hair I have. But if I shave half of it off, it can kind of, like, aerate itself a little better. (laughs) Right. So it ends up looking nicer. And I don't know why I went from doing Bianca Hills to just running over to Rico Harbor. Like, (laughs) I said, Uh... I'm going to do Bianca Hills because it's easier. And then I went, ah, fuck it. This hard ash shines bright. I do remember a conversation about the uh, the rocket attachment mm. happening, and you were trying to get the rocket attachment. Well, uh, yeah. Maybe I realized I was close to getting it, or if I did this one, I would get it. I don't know. It was a month ago. Fuck what I thought. Who fucking knows? Um, <laughs> so yeah, shaved, shaved into the mohawk, and then after a bit, was like, I don't think anyone at work will care if my hair is blue. <laughs> bleached off my hair and made it blue yeah it was basically like the only time i ever see people at work is through like webcam meetings and it's just like okay (laughs) yeah i kind of was like i couldn't wear a wig like whatever (laughs) it's just like are you really gonna get like 
butt hurt about a couple of holes in my face. <laughs> yeah, really. I never have understood. Like, I can get it if you have something like one of those piercings where you can see their teeth. Cause they have a piercing in their fucking jaw. That's when you, that's when you stretch out your lip. Yeah, that you get one. A lip plate. Yeah. Those ones disturb me more than any of them. Like, it's it's when it's when the lip plate goes uh, horizontal instead of vertical is where you lose me. Like if you want to have like the center of your lip pierced and then stretch it out so it's big and just have a big plug in there, I'm like, cool, that's that's cool. But then like when you have the lip plate where it like droops over <laughs> and it's like horizontal, I'm like, uh, that just seems like it makes it difficult to drink coffee, right? How do you have anything to like eat? That, that, yeah, it's like, that makes, like, consumption not impossible, but, like, way more difficult than it needs to be. <laughs> Which, I, I get it, like, you know, if you got, like, a culture thing based around it, it's like, yeah, do your thing. Or, oh, like, of you course. Know, if you want to do that to your body, like, go for it, but, like... That's where I kind of draw the line personally of like, no, nah, that, that just seems inconvenient. <laughs> <coughs> and it's like, most of the stuff that I have is just like, okay, if I really have to, I can take. Yeah. Out. I love how I get the rocket nozzle here. And then don't use it. And then don't use it at all. I just platform it. And I don't even have the thing that would help me if I fell. Just, eh, yep. fuck it. I guess I'm a platformer now. <laughs> I, I, got, I got the thing. <laughs> Trying so hard to get the shine, but not actually landing on the fucking shine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do five backflips and not land a single one. <laughs> yeah, that lines up for me. Uh, I'm having the I'm same energy. A couple energy of times drink. in Mario 64, where it's just like, I need the star, and then you just miss it like five <laughs> times because you're just mashing a. And then you got really disappointed when it didn't get unlocked. Yeah, because I think I had to um, go do something. I, oh, I have to get like 30 shines or something like that? I don't know. Yeah. It's an interesting thing because in this game, unlike other Mario games, it, it's not that there is a certain amount of shines you have to get. It's that you have to chase Shadow Mario through each level to get to the mm. to unlock it which i don't i think in every other one it's like you just need this many to progress um yeah uh, uh what was i gonna say oh yeah but with this one it's like you have to actually do a thing in each level right i also just love the aesthetics here of nokia bay the purple water bothers me. I wasn't talking about the purple water, <laughs> but more the um, I the mean, shell. The water's part of the aesthetics. It it is well, it's poison. But once you unpoison the water, it all goes back to blue. Um, I'm just saying the purple water bothers me. I'm I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do until about episode eight. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I might... I just, uh, there's nothing I can do until the thing that I've already done in the past <laughs> that hasn't come out in the future yet. <laughs> oh, the timeline of Mario for us is so fucking weird. <laughs> the timeline of all of our videos are fucking weird. <laughs> I feel like we could write a story about like because we because we get we get excited and we record and then we like wait a month to edit it. <laughs> yeah, well, to be fair, I had a lot going on. 
I mean, we've both had a lot going on. This is true. I, I'm not making like I'm not making excuses or poking fun. It's just like that's the reality of our channel at the moment. Of just that, like we get super excited for a project, we record a metric shitload of it, and then we don't start editing for like a month. I cannot wait till we're big enough to hire an editor. <laughs> yeah, like I cannot this... describe to you how much Valorant content that oh, I have I know. that I just like have barely touched. I know I'm in the same boat. It's there's and part of me is like I've been talking to myself like, all right, we need to you need to edit every day. You need to start like getting these projects done and getting out there. And uh, by the time this episode comes out, this will this. This has happened in... When we recorded this, this hasn't happened. But now it's happened. Time. And by the time that this comes out, uh, it will have already happened. So this isn't just... Well, not really a spoiler. But anyway, Unis Anis ended. And that... Really motivated me. And really made me think, like... If this is what I want to do, then I need to do it. Um, yeah. And... I need to stop letting other things get in the way of me doing it Has, is a big thing for me because I keep going like, oh, well, I got to do X, Y, Z. I got to get X, Y, Z done. And I'm starting to just be like, no, no, I, I, I just need to do this. Yeah. I need to figure out a, a system. To... This one, this series was the easiest to edit for me. Um, I'm having so many problems right here trying to platform this up. <laughs> no, it's just one tiny little speck that was causing all yeah. the issues. Um, it's a, metaf a beautiful metaphor there. <laughs> um, this one was the easiest to edit because it was just like, I, I literally just had to sync everything up. I'm not doing any fancy editing or anything. Yeah, now you know how I felt with Mario 64. I didn't have to do anything. Like, I just had to, like, put put the intro in, put the outro, line up the music, make sure everything sounds all right. Yeah. Like, like once in a blue moon, I did an edit joke. Like, I did the, I did the whole Mamma Mia thing. Right. And I think, um... I think that's like oh, I did, I did for the, do the future. Foreshadowing joke that was fucking. Yeah. I forgot about that one. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> uh, the, for the future, uh, I'm thinking you know it, it, we're, we're gonna hopefully have a more steady stream of content like this where it's just um, these basic like we're just gonna play through and talk style. Uh, but I'm hoping we could do more um, fun things soon. Especially with, uh, I'm, I'm going to actually end up moving back to the same town Gavin's in. I'm actually only going to be like 20 yeah. minutes from you. I already nice. checked. <laughs> uh, that tracks. I'm pretty much 20 minutes from everyone. You are. Like, You're... like I, I live in this weird little pocket dimension where I'm about <laughs> 20 to 40 minutes away from everything. Have you, uh, have you ever seen, um... Oh, brother, where art thou? Uh, yeah. And there's a scene that my parents used to, me and my family would quote all the time, which is like, this is temporal, anomaly. Five weeks from everywhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> they'd be like, that's five weeks for delivery. I, I think that's one of those movies where I think I've seen it, but like the actual content of viewing it was like lost to my memory loss oh we should rewatch it then it's really it's really funny i quote it way more than i <laughs> anytime i'm in valorant and like it's just me like everyone else has died and it's just me i immediately am going damn i'm in a tight spot <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know how much i talked about it in other videos but i have uh, sleep apnea and I probably had it untreated for a very long time and it was pretty bad so long story short uh, 
I have some pretty bad memory loss for like some certain periods of my life just because like I was frying my brain by depriving it of oxygen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, like, that basically leads to a lot of situations where it's, like, I know I've seen a movie, but I couldn't tell you anything about it. Like, right. it's, like, oh, yeah, like, I, like, I have the knowledge that I know that I've seen it, but I couldn't tell you any facts about the movie. It's so funny. Uh, there's been a lot of instances of that, of just, like, have you seen this? It's, like, yes, but no. <laughs> Yeah, it's so funny because, like, I feel like there's a theme in my life of everyone but me having memory problems. Uh, starting with my brother, who has uh, a couple of memory problems, but it's mostly short-term things where, like, he can't remember if he ate food already. Um, like, long-term memory is fine. Short-term memory is a little, because of all the ADD and ADHD. Um no fault of his. Uh, then you with the sleep apnea, and then my boy, whose name I will avoid mentioning. If if this he knows who he, he knows who he is, shout out to him. <laughs> <laughs> You're aware who you are, you asshole. Um, no, he's not an asshole. I love him, but uh, he was in an accident and uh, got amnesia and lost a lot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just... like he he straight up like lost like five years, didn't he? Mm -hmm. uh... Of just like and it's and it's not even like the weird vague memory that I have where I'm like, yes, I know that I've done that. Can't tell you anything about it. He just straight up like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, he didn't know who I was. Uh, well, he didn't know who I was, but he knew I was someone to him. Yeah, it's like it's like I know you're a person that I should know, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was actually super cute because I was with him in the hospital. Oh, here's where I I accidentally get an extra shine. <laughs> oh yeah, you found the bird. <laughs> I wasn't trying to get there. I just was like, oh hey, cool. <laughs> you can see my face. Of whoops, that's not what I was supposed to be getting. I also couldn't remember that the bird was the shine. I just was like, oh shiny bird. <laughs> Yeah, there's, uh, it's very similar to the, the memory loss. It's very similar to uh, my my grandma on my mm. mom's side who's had multiple strokes and is, like, just starting to have dementia. And it just – things aren't great. <laughs> things aren't great in, in her, her memory and, and mental faculty area. Uh sometimes uh so it, it, it's like funny or it it's it's funny in a not funny way i don't know how to describe it no i get you but it's it's you'll go I'll, I'll go to visit her and it's like one of those things where she's just like i know you're one of mine but i don't know who you are oh well that's kind of it's, what happened with um with my friend she's because... like i i know you're a grandchild but i don't know I don't know who you are. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> the, so I was with him in the hospital for a bit of time, and um, well, I wasn't in the hospital. I was hanging out with him in the hospital. Uh, and nurse came in and was like, hey, we have all your paperwork. Uh, I'm aware that you have amnesia, so I probably shouldn't hand it to you. Who do I hand this to? And he looks around the room and he goes, uh, her, that's my um sister? <laughs> <laughs> just like mm, <laughs> what's the word <laughs> yeah i know it's like i'm not your sister but dude, i'll take it that was cute uh <laughs> that was an adorable uh misunderstanding yeah for my for my grandma we have to uh we, we've broken down all, all of my mom's uh sisters and brother um the their numbers are on speed dial on the phone and they're listed one through seven because there's seven children mm -hmm. and they're listed in order of birth. And we found that like she can remember that easier than the names. Mm. So it's like when you talk to her, you have to be like, I'm it's like I'm number five's son. Ah. She's like, oh, OK. And she'll like get it. <laughs> Because she knows who number five is. 
Yeah, for a while there, uh, my friend just had a note on the back of his <laughs> phone. Uh, I hope he doesn't mind me reading him. I don't think he'll mind. He's going to be famous. He'll love it. Uh, but on the back of his phone, it said, if you wake up at 3 a.m. and can't remember who you are, call this number. And it was my number because I was often awake at 3 a.m. Um, mm. So he would... <laughs> I would just get a text or a call at three, and it would be him going, I have a note to call you. <laughs> What's my name? And so I would go through, here's your name, here's your age, here's what happened. Um, thankfully, like, he's been on some medication, and, you know, they've been doing therapy to help with it. So, like, he sort of had, like, he has bits and pieces now. Okay. But there's there's still bits that he doesn't have at all. Um, right. What an unsettling note to have to write yourself of like if you forget who you like future <laughs> me if you forget who you are. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, contact this this number or like do the like and like do anything. It's just like future me if you forget who you are. <laughs> do this thing. It's just like fuck. Yeah, a little bit of memento going on. <laughs> a movie yeah. I haven't watched, and a lot of people are always surprised because there are multiple people in my really? life who are like, "You haven't seen that, but you know so many people with memory loss." <laughs> like, yeah. I know I, it's too close. It's too close to home. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh... I've seen that movie so many times. I forgot I forgot why, but I had to like study it for something. Probably an English thing. Yeah, probably. Cuz it is cuz of the way like the storytelling in it, it's it's chopped up weird. Mm. I think this is the moment where we might get to meet Pixel. Here she is. Oh, baby Flooperton. Oh, she's so tiny. It's crazy how much she's grown in a month. To be fair, she's still very small. <laughs> and also, to be fair, she's wearing a Victorian collar and a onesie, so she just kind of looks like a grandma. She does. She's still such a small bean. I also need to give her another haircut. And she's like a living stuffed animal. This is true. She does just look like a, a toy. Uh, this goes on for a, a few more moments. <laughs> just me petting yeah, my puppy. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like... I don't remember how, uh, <laughs> like, like, speaking of memory loss, I don't remember a whole lot about this episode. <laughs> uh, I think I do one more, one or two more in Nokia Bay. I'm just, I keep trying to clear out Nokia Bay because while I love its aesthetic, uh, I do not enjoy most of its levels. <laughs> I like the way this looks. I don't enjoy playing it. Yeah. Well, I think I really liked the, um, Pixel decides she wants to be in my face and eat the microphone. Um, <laughs> hey, me no old man. Look at me, I'm old. My beard is made out of shells. I know, I said your name. Do you, oh, okay, okay, okay. My glasses are also made of shells. I don't know how I see through them. <laughs> Now shut up and get into this jar. I love how this is not explained. <laughs> you're yeah, just you're in a jar and now I, you're in the I, I remember I do remember this part because I was just like, I have questions and you were just like, I don't have answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I hate the mechanics. Yeah, the swimming in this is dumb. It's so confusing. I also hate how you have a like they give you what is obviously supposed to be a a helmet so you can breathe and then you still you still have, have to, to collect coins exactly. for air 
for your life. It doesn't make sense. Oh, that just got a little huh. glitching on the screen. Well, too bad. It happens. Uh, it's not like we're paid to it's... do this yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's Joined like our in, Patreon. In... We don't have a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> we probably should set up one. Well, I don't know. Maybe not yet, but I think in the future, yeah, yeah it would make sense. I'm having so much trouble just trying to get these coins. <laughs> Um, yeah, the this is one of the levels where they really just needed to not. <laughs> where they should have stopped. Yeah. Uh, it's this and then there's, I think I ended on the tooth cleaning. Spoilers. Tooth cleaning. Um, oh, yeah. This is another weird level. Yeah, I don't... I Part of me wonders if this game was ru rushed to get onto the GameCube. It might have been. Because, like, I feel like I don't... some things were, like, really intricately done, and then some things were like, shit, we need more stars. Come up with something. Yeah. Um, and then you have like that, that's how you get like levels like this of like god uh, fuck we need more shit to do in this game it's an interesting question maybe we can look it up but uh it's I don't think it was it's not like Twilight Princess which they rushed to get onto the Wii um, yeah. And that's why it's flipped, and I can't play it. That would actually be probably a very funny uh, game for us to play, is Twilight Princess on the Wii, because I played it like ten times through on the GameCube. Um, mm. So, like, See, I have... I, I played it on the Wii. Yeah, so I have the GameCube one mapped and memorized, but when I try to play it on the Wii, because they flipped it, because in the GameCube, Link is left-handed, and in the Wii, most people are right-handed, so they switched it so you'd be using your right hand to swing the sword. Yeah, so they mirrored all so they the they mirrored it. I cannot play it. I get so confused. I literally just am like, I my brain is telling me what to do, but because the map doesn't line up, I can't play this game. Hmm. It's really funny, and I don't, I don't even really know why, other than just the instincts are just so off that <laughs> my brain doesn't let it happen. I really hope that new, uh, the new Breath of the Wild game has co-op. Because that trailer made it look like it had co-op. <laughs> that would be awesome, because I already... Um, <laughs> me and my friend, the one with the the memory loss, um, he... Oh yeah, you've been giving him like Breath of the Wild tips and tricks. Yeah, I need to record that episode. Uh, but also, we've been doing an exchange where we're buying each other games every other month. Nice. So like, he bought... I bought him... I think I bought him Breath of the Wild, and then he bought me Age of Calamity, and then next I'm going to buy him something else, too. Um, and we just keep handing off like that. It's just a cute little exchange of our favorite games. Um, and, uh... I See, I like the difference in the relationship there, because if we were to do that, we would be exchanging games... To piss the other person off. Oh, a hundred percent. And then we'd be like, demanding. I would be like, you. I, I'd be like, you have to play Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> like it would be stuff like that. I would. Uh, what would I make you play? That would piss you off, though. I don't know. <laughs> you, you figure Cooking Mama. <laughs> now, honestly, that probably would piss me. Yeah. Off. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I, I love the, the difference there of just like, like, oh, we're exchanging our favorite games. And if you or me were to do it, it'd be like, oh, here's the, she's going to hate this. Yeah, 
This is the worst boss. Yeah, it did not look fun. It's not. It's an interesting concept. Like, I love the concept, but the controls are so dang janky. Also, I feel like I'm getting, like, triggered at this. <laughs> For people. Just your, your current dentistry problems. Yeah. So, uh, the story on my teeth right now is, um... <laughs> Mute the channel if you don't want to hear this. Uh, Kevin, if you're watching, don't listen. <laughs> um, uh, I, I had to get a root canal when I was 17, and the crown for it recently fell off, and it turns out there wasn't enough tooth to be worth saving underneath said uh, crown after the crown fell out. So now I'm, I'm just missing. There's just a there's just a hole in my mouth, and I have to go get an implant. So I'm watching Mario blast out this guy's teeth, and I'm just like, oh, it's me. I'm, I've become the thing I fought. <laughs> I've been uh, very fortunate in that my teeth are not straight, but I haven't had issues with them. <laughs> my teeth are very so. straight. Uh... That was well always one point of pride for me, um, and I used to not take. I'll be, I'll cop to it. I used to not take care of my teeth. Uh, my excuse is I had so many other things medically to take care of <laughs> that it became a second place thing. But now I do take care of them, and I, I feel like this is just like my past mistakes coming back to haunt me, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just reminding me that like, hey, you idiot, you didn't take care of this, and now you're gonna pay for it. Literally, pay for it. Um, yeah, my teeth are just yellow. <laughs> it's the worst thing I got going on. That's probably from years of smoking and coffee drinking. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it was. It was a solid like eight years of just coffee and cigarettes. It does a mouth day wonders. in and day out. Um, oh yeah, my breath was fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, my teeth, my teeth are actually getting whiter by the day, and I'm really proud of that fact, and how far my teeth are coming, but, um, yeah, that one tooth was just like, nah. Okay. I'm out. Yeah, I'm done. Um, so, anyway, yeah, I get to go get an implant. Pirate tooth. I already have a pirate tooth, because I have another crown. I had to get a couple of root canals, um... Because my, I didn't even have to get them because my teeth were awful, but I had to get a lot of root canals because my, the roots of my teeth are shaped funky. <laughs> They're not normal. Um, All right. Hey, there we go. Uh, I don't know what they, see that dude just spat out his crown. Um, <laughs> uh. I don't remember how they look weird, but I just know they are weird, and that um, the the dentist is basically like, even if we could get to these, like your roots are causing so many problems, you're just gonna end up needing a root canal in the future anyway. So get it done. And I was like, hey, fuck it, do it, sure. Um, uh, there's Pixel jumping on the couch in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Just like violently attacking a blanket. Yeah, that's her. F she loves to do that. She also loves. This is super cute that she's been doing. Re well, she was doing, but she got spayed recently, so she hasn't been able to do this. And it's slowly driving her insane. Um, but we have a like a fabric grocery bag. Um, mm. you know, one of those reusable bags, and I've stuffed it with like washcloths and stuff. And her favorite thing to do is pick up that bag and drag it across the floor and then attack it. <laughs> it's super adorable. Now we get to watch me badly chase Shadow Mario around, and I think we're uh, once this is over. I think that's the end of the episode. Yeah, oh, I oh. think once you catch him. That's probably where we ended it. I think so. That would have been the smart thing to do. 
<sighs> That's relying on us to make smart it. choices. I mean, which uh, I don't, I don't ev know. Evidence we're is still alive. <laughs> oh, this is true. We are still alive. We've made enough smart decisions to like, not be from, uh, naturally yeah. selected. From yeah, from an evolutionary standpoint, we're we're doing okay. I mean, technically, from an evolutionary standpoint, I should have been dead a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, evolution for our time period. <laughs> I mean, I probably should have been dead too, like, or will be dying soon because the sleep apnea would have given me a heart attack and I would have just died in my sleep. Mm. <laughs> and no one would know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, now I'm just having fun. Oh, yeah, because you, uh, you unlocked the, yeah, the rocket booster. Yeah, the turbo. It's the or turbo. the turbo. Are you, Are you going like turbo? turbo? No. Get it? Wreck it, Ralph? No? Okay. Uh I'm fine. I was thinking about that movie with the snail. Oh. <laughs> I never watched that one. Neither did I. <laughs> but ap apparently it was good enough to warrant a TV show. Really? They made a t yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just doing a TV show <laughs> about it. I don't know if it lasted long, but. Oh, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, I then? think that's a. I accidentally overlaid that because I'm. Is that like a placeholder yeah. or. Well, uh, I'll make that last longer. <laughs> but that's the end of this episode. Yeah. Thank you for listening to us rant about... Well, we kind of talked shop and talked about medical problems. That's a pretty typical episode for us. I don't know. Maybe we should do this more often. Maybe we should just have gameplay footage and talk. Yeah. Over I like stuff. Because this is kind of fun. Maybe we can do a podcast. Like that. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. Anyway, eh. uh, don't forget <laughs> to hit like, comment, and subscribe, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, do those things. We want we want our custom URL. It's I true. demand it. Help us out here. Please. <laughs> I demand it, and then you beg. <laughs> yeah, I can do both. I'm I I can multitask. <laughs> See you guys in the next episode, which will be back to the normal timeline. <laughs> so, right. see you in the past? Yeah. See, <laughs> see you in the past future. <laughs> see you in the past future now. <laughs> uh, Doc, we gotta go back. <laughs> Alright, I'm hitting stop. Alright.